Hi everyone, um, welcome to the Q&A recording of the film, The Miracle of the Little Prince, uh, playing as part of the uh, 10th European Union Human Rights Film Base. We are going to have a conversation with the director of the film, uh, Marjolaine Bonstra, who is joining us from Amsterdam. Uh, welcome, Marjolaine. Thank you very much. Um, so you're a film director and a photographer with over uh, 25 years of experience. Um, you started filmmaking in 1993 and you made your first feature film in uh, 2015. Um, this documentary, The Miracle of the Little Prince, is looking at the cultural impact of the novel, The Little Prince, in four cultures around the world, Tamazid, Sami, Tibetan and uh, Nawat. I just wonder, how did you decide to make a film like this? What inspired you uh, to tell this story? Well, what me inspired to tell the story is that um, the producer of the film, uh, Peter van Huisthe, likes to make, ask me to make a film together about translating. And uh, that's a difficult question to make a film about translation because it's not visual at all. So I thought, well, a film about translation is it's quite a question. Uh, and then together with Lies Janssen, who did the research, we found out that it's good to take uh, maybe a very well-known book, uh, what is appreciated by different cultures, uh, what is not based on religion or uh, a political choice for left or right, uh, to make, to really to see why is this book so popular? And uh, so that was the first line, the storyline in the film, uh, to see what it really, what's the emotional connection with the book and why. Mm -hmm. And uh, then there became another aspect during the research that we um, also want to follow a historical line. So we start with a very old language uh, and what also was influenced influenced by the Arabs who wants uh, the Tamazigh to, to, to speak the Arab uh, language because they want them to read the Quran. So uh, a second uh, line in the film is also it has to, to do with power. When you uh, tell your people that they have to know a, a second language and that is the main language, that's quite a thing. So um, Translating is, is something, but the, to what you can do with, with, with language in, in the meaning of having power and control a population was the second very important line. And that's the reason why we end up in Tibet. Well, what the Chinese now are doing with the Tibetan is, is, is you can compare it with the Tamazigh and the Arabs. So, um, and what I also like it, about it, that it is so simple. And it's so complicated, the book. It's, it's um, yeah, it's a long answer, but uh, mm -hmm. we did quite a long time about the film, so. Yeah. Yeah. And, and actually you mentioned a little bit uh, about um, why did you choose that specific book, but maybe can you tell us a little bit uh, more why did you ch chose this specific book for, um, tell well, us. Well, well, Yes, well, the, the, I like so much The Little Prince and while doing camera, I really want to have the point of view of The Little Prince uh, because he's, he's, still, he's asking you a very simple question. Why are you doing today what you are doing? Mm -hmm. And for me, that's a very important question every day. But it's so, the answer is always complicated, but the question is so easy. And I always like in my films, uh, also when I'm doing interviews, I don't ask that much uh, because uh, I really want to, um, yeah, come closer really to the center of the emotions. And I think a question like that is so important for us every day and we can ask it everyone around the world. So uh, uh, yeah, that really, uh, yeah. And the answer, so he is, he is running around the world and, and he is asking people, why are you sitting here, king? Why are you the king of this, this planet? And then he's going to, to a man who is busy with trains. And, and, and so, yeah, he picks up 
people who we can meet every day and ask the question, why are you doing what you are doing today? Yeah. And for me, that's poetry. And, and, and that also gives me energy to show the world uh, also that we are not arguing what is religion and are we this or are we that, but who are we as a human being? Very, very close to ourselves. Yeah, universal questions. And it's also, I mean, The Little Prince is also one of the best-selling books of all time and it's most translated uh, non-religious text in the world. Uh, and it made an enormous impact on the cultures around the world, actually. So your film perfectly portrays why people from diverse cultures uh, choose precisely this book to keep their uh, threatened language, languages and cultures alive, actually. So how did you choose the locations, uh, people, and languages in the film? I was just wondering. Yeah, well, the we, we could choose a lot of different uh, countries and people, but because there was an historical line, we want to start in the Sahara. We want to start in the desert. And also because the book is very connected with the desert. So that was number one. And then we would like to go to... to to, to the snow landscape. It was also a visual aspect of me uh, that I would like to see the sand and the snow as a desert where we can think. Uh, and that brought us to, to, to uh, 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 the second one. So we, and it's also is the second one in the historical perspective. So uh, that makes it more easier to go from, to start somewhere and to end up somewhere. So something in Europe, something in, in Africa, something in Asia. Uh, um, yeah, it, mm -hmm. we want to be really have the feeling that we are really traveling around the world. And, uh, yeah. So that makes it easier to choose. And also because we were looking for the people who we met by doing research, going there, by going there, but also... Uh, uh, to see, by, by Skype to see if there was an emotional connection and if there was an urge in their past, in the personal past, to translate the book. And, and also these uh, translators and these languages have something in common. They are suppressed uh, cultures and suppressed uh, languages. So um, maybe there is a reason why uh, you, you know, um, selected these languages as well. I don't know. Well, that makes the urge of, of translating the book bigger. So it's not something you do for fun, but it's something you do because you really believe that, that you have to, to save the life of the language. And uh, that also was a, a reason why we choose these people, because it's really also, it's a, it's a book for kids and for, for grown-ups, but it's also, there is an urgent part in it uh, what makes, I think, it more uh, necessary to make a film about it. Yeah. And it's also associated with the human rights issues as well. I mean, the language and their, and their endangerment is strongly associated with human rights. Uh, for instance, health services. If health services uh, aren't offered in our language, then uh, our access to healthcare is restricted. So preserving a language is uh, language is really important in that sense. So as a filmmaker, what do you think about the role of documentaries for uh, preserving a language? Are they only documenting the situation uh, of endangered languages or can, then ch can they change the fate of the languages uh, which are at risk of dying? Uh, what do you think as a filmmaker? Well, <laughs> I, you can hope and you can can pray, but um, I, I, what I try to do is I put, try to put it on the agenda and as sort of make us aware uh, for the f that we are united. For me, that's very important. We are struggling so much against pain and war, and and but we are united. And uh, this book is a, is something that makes us united. But uh, yes, there is a hope that I could give people give a feeling of 
uh, we have to continue together and don't forget that if we lose languages, we lose cultures. And we really lo also love that we have different, that we have different cultures. So I, I cannot say that this documentary will help the world to, <laughs> to, 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 to do something. But of course, I, that's the reason I make documentaries. But I cannot promise and I cannot count if it, it was a success in that, uh, yeah. Yeah, because um, that big, I think big yeah, maybe um, these languages should be spoken by their people. More and more people are, the, are uh, gonna, you know, talk them. That's why uh, they're going to be alive uh, eventually, most possibly. Yeah, yeah, and what, for instance, it's very, it's also a very complicated and difficult issue because what you see now in Tibetan, also when you look to the farmers, if they have to sign something, a contract of something, it's in Chinese, and they don't, they don't know what, they don't know the words, so they, the words, so they sign something, and they don't know, maybe they're giving their land away, so it's, it's the language really, empowers nations who wants to, the, in this way, the Chinese. So it's, it's so vulnerable and so difficult, so uh, painful. So, yeah, it's, uh, yeah. yeah. Um, Marjolan, is there something you would like to add as, as the final um, word uh, for, for this q session? Um, now, what I've tried to do is, uh, I don't know if this is, 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 if this is after the film, but uh, um, what I also try to do is, is to make us aware of the, the landscape and the animals around us. And I think uh, it's maybe nice if you look back and, and think about the film, that there are political issues and there are big, big other human rights issues in this film, hidden in this film. But maybe it's also nice just to see the film as a as a connection with the landscapes and the animals, to go back to very basic basic feelings. What for me is what the little prince has done with me, by uh, by asking a very basic question, and uh, well, just look around how wonderful the world is. Yeah. <laughs> so maybe something very simple. Like like in the book, actually. It it's yes, <laughs> let's see and don't argue too much, but yeah. just also enjoy life. So. Mariolan, thank you for sharing this heartwarming and eye-opening, uh, the, the film uh, with us. So, and uh, good luck with your upcoming works. Thank you so much and have a lot of success with your festival. Thank you, bye-bye. And thanks. Uh, and uh, greetings to the public, of course. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bye-bye.